YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here, back in Total War Warhammer, where we're going to be uh, continuing along. Uh, Boris the Indestructible still being indestructible. Yes. We're going to have a little Your issue up here with some uh, scaling. The nearest army I have is this one here, which is yes, Besieged. That's and it's saying I have a poor rats. chance. That's kind of weird. It's just a bunch of chariots. I still have a decent amount of spearmen left, and I should no. be able to shoot their chariots, but they have a new lord there. What's my uh, garrison look like? I got guys in pretty decent shape. Two arms. It's giving them the uh, better chance here for some reason. Let's fight this. Get these guys off my settlement. Um, I'm going to have to get an army up here to deal with Varg and Scaling. They're just completely out of control at this point. So, I mean, unless I fortify every single city I have... I'm going to be dealing with this, and I could still be dealing with it um, regardless. Let's see. Where's my reinforcements coming from back over here? This little hill will be a decent place to set up then. I'm going to make a very Spearman. tight box just to protect against their uh, chariots. Halvadiers. And then I'll just put these guys back here in the back. Leaving my big units. There we go. That should work. Let's start the battle. Hopefully my reinforcements can get to the hill one time. We suffered that same issue last time. There's plenty of reinforcements if I can only get them up there in time to join my other forces. I'm going to actually let my tanks go ahead and fire at the cavalry. It'll have the best chance of hitting that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set up extra halberds. These guys into a defensive position. I'm actually going to roll my tank back a little bit. Because the uh, throwing axes can be a little bit damaging. Times, crossbows should be opening fire. I'm going to get out here and try and intercept some of these chariots. The chariots are going to just break right through all my infantry, most likely, unless I get out to them with something else. Let's take my crossbows off fire at will, guard mode, kill the little horsies. Okay. Take my men here, getting rid of as many of these raiding horsemen as I can. Should be able to take down their chariots. Or their chariots are just going to pull through. It's typical for them. Let's reinforce down there. Steam tanks right in the middle of that, it'll be fine. More reinforcing chariots coming on. I'm going to start taking out raiding horsemen. Let's run down their lord here. Okay, crossbows, getting the job done. Like good crossbows do. Their lord should, yep, be dead. That'll help speed the passing of these chaos wannabes. Drove all those guys off. Get rid of the last few. Just block this area off a little bit better. Get into these chariots. 
All right, yeah, the raiding horsemen are dying, dying by the dozens to my crossbows. But my swordsmen are also dying by the dozens to the raiding horsemen. Take these guys out, please. Let's take those guys out. Got some of these raiding horsemen that just got hit by a big fat cannonball. That was appropriate. Okay, I think we got rid of most of the raiding horsemen and chariots over there. Let's roll on back in. Looks like this will be a pretty, pretty straightforward victory over enemies here. Look at my steam tank, man. They really want a piece of that chariot. I don't remember giving that order, but whatever makes you happy. This guy on... Oh no, he's on a horse. He's just crazy slow. Chaos Lord charged straight into Halberds. Nice charge, dingus. Okay, look at those chariots. Morons. Okay. Crossbows, I don't remember moving you here, but apparently I did. Looks like all the Chaos troops are going to start like mass routing as soon as a few of these guys go down. Their lord's getting hammered by my tank. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. Crossbows doing their thing. There we go. That's going to be the end of that bullcrap stack from Varg or Scaling, Varg, whatever. They're the same losers, to be quite honest. Losers, be gone, fools. Alright, I'm going to finish my training here so I can get these other guys back in and then we'll chase those guys down. I really probably could uh, so. use a few more troops up here somewhere. If I have to, I can raise another lord and do that. The army that was up there guarding had to come down here to Marienburg to fight off Your this crap stack. What's uh, In the turn, there's not a whole lot else we can do here. I've already moved most of my guys as much as they can move. Yeah, not a whole lot else we can do other than get down here and try and settle that. Should be good. Uh, we need to fight this battle, but I'm going to have to change stances with Karl Franz. Sigma. Get a treasure up here who gains skill points. We're going to keep going down that Honest Steel line because it will make his spears and stuff better. Warrior Priest. We've already got Hammer of Sigmar. We've already got Sigmar's Ward. Let's go with um, Safeguard so we can open up some other things. Oh, we had two. Soothsaying, Aura Size, Leadership, Wild-Eyed. Um, and passion. Let's go with wild eyed. Give him more attack. And I'm not going to repair the damage there right now. So let's continue. See what happens on this turn in. Dwarfs are headed north. Hopefully to go take a chunk out of the chaos wannabes. Reconquer troll country or something useful like that. Doesn't matter. In the end I'm going to raise their capital in order to meet the requirements of one of the... Um, one of the achievements that I want to earn. Really? These goons are going to keep coming after me? I'm going to quick save this in case I get screwed over it. Well, yeah, we won. It wasn't pretty. I'll have to retrain troops. It would be tempting to start looting off these guys, but doesn't look like I'm going to have that benefit. Okay, hostile heroes stolen from the enemy, so we got some that causes fear terror. That's not bad. Settlement of siege, that was probably up here. Yeah, that gamut. Those jerks. To the provinces. And I can't really leave this settlement undefended because Erengrad doesn't have defenses yet. If I can build up the defenses here, I'll be able to uh, use this other army up here to help protect me up north, but I'm not sure I will last that long, so I'm going to have to recruit um, a another lord 
Could get an Arch Lector, but I'm gonna go with standard one because they're a little bit better and he's stupid. Hey, you said it yourself, buddy. If I just throw a couple quick recruit units on here, like a couple of crossbows, for instance, and four spears, we can come in as reinforcements. Should be able to do some good work. Um... I'm going to go ahead and besiege Paravan. By the comet. And I am we will take it. And let's see. You can go Ready ahead and resettle serve. this. Yes. And East Border Princes. What a name. Um, let's start off with the growth. Be the better way to go. All right, so got the growth going there. Asinine, mortal. Watch your math, ugly. Um, let's move Let up. Let's move. I will marshal the men to war. Let's see if I win again. I'm really pushing my luck here, but I don't really care. I don't. What? They didn't have a lord. What the heck? What a jack job! Get the heck out of my way already. Step to it. Ugly. So. My guys are like now, all dead. It is I just want to resettle this little place here. Empire so that I have a place yes. to um, try and replenish some of these units. I'm going to pull these two together. There we go. Alright, at least we can be getting some replenishment done. Won't be pretty. Gorsell. Uh, Apache can siege Karakarin. Two arms! And then Karl Franz, I was going to teleport and fight the uh, the Battle of Galmaraz, but I don't have the money to do so on this turn. So let's take him and continue to towards our enemies down here. Perfect. Can issue a commandment in the Wasteland. Could do the one that reduces public order would be nice. Growth would be nice as well. So I'm going to have to regrow everything there. Border Princes, let's go with Growth as well. The comet. This dude's got a skill. Let's see. Sigmar's War, we can get him a better horse. He's got all the spells. He's got Arcane Conduit, so let's go with Sigmar's Ward. Boris the... Fomaturge? What, what? what kind of name is that for a Celestial Wizard? Can't say I like it. Let's give him um, power drain. Yes. Oh, this guy had another one. We'll give him earth, earthing. Yes. Lord up here, this new one we recruited. Let's give him a war horse to start off with. Actually, it's not the new one. It's a different dude, I think. But okay, we have damage building there. Yeah, it's gonna stay damaged for now because I don't want. If I repair it, these fools are just gonna come back and destroy it. So I'm gonna wait like another turn or two. All right. And I don't have the money to repair it, so yeah, take that. Ha! <laughs> Looks like uh, the dwarfs are at war with uh, Kislev. Kislev is like notoriously stupid when it comes to um, their diplomacy, so this doesn't surprise me. I cannot believe these guys just keep coming back. It's almost unreal at this point. Just die already. I think they're officially dead now. Though it's hard to sell. Yeah, I knew those guys. I don't know, that's a different place that they came to. And see, they're moving down here into my lands. I must keep my holy vow. Marienburg no. really doesn't have very great defenses. So that's kind of a problem, but they are going to have to siege it, so I can't let them do anything to Marienburg. I shall be victorious. I'm going to go ahead and let the siege... Why did it take two turns to get a battering ram? I'm a little bit irritated about that, to be honest. Fine. Fine. Siege. Will. This is like annoying. I can only be in so many places at once and the AI has got a ton of little armies that they're able to get around me. I thought it took one turn to train the battering ram. It did. So why did it take so long at the other place? 
I'm gonna go ahead and just auto resolve this one against Karak Kirin. And uh, I'm gonna sack their stupid settlement. Now, Alric will! Really? You're not gonna let me raise it all in the same turn? That's kind of frustrating. Let's see if these guys are weak enough to realize their inevitable defeat. They are not, because they're absolutely idiotic morons. Didn't I get the temple complete in Middenheim? Yes. Great Temple of Ulrich. I guess I didn't pay attention. Why did it not give me... Do I have to end a turn or something, maybe? I guess. I don't know. Okay, these guys have their extra units. Aaron Grad's going to be four turns from really being able to defend itself. Though it does have walls. They're going to have to siege it. Let's, um... What's the quickest way to get there? Let's go over here and try and relieve this settlement. Uh, runs out of supplies in one turn. That's annoying. What? Well, one turn, actually, I have these guys ready. Hopefully they don't attack me. They very well might. Okay. Ford got that. I command Carl Franz. I could teleport and fight France. the battle they will obey. for Galmaraz. I think I'm going to do that because I want to get that one in this episode. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a lot slower progress than I would like, though, to be honest. It's kind of frustrating because the way that I'm getting attacked by all these little stacks from all over the place. Maybe I should just let them attack a few of my lands because I'm going to end up wrecking them anyway. Looks like we're fighting against Greenskin Scum, Hack Foe Spike, Shady Beard Burner, and Bart Bartorg Teef Raba. I like the Teef Raba part, and it looks like I get reinforced by Dwarfs too. This is going to be a dang slaughter. Slaughter, and it's not even on the water. Ah, there's my achievement. It's about time. R. Ulrich. You better recognize Patchy when he achieves something other than getting his armies killed. Let's watch this uh, battle intro for old Franzi. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to unite for the orcs gather. Beyond the pass, a war boss draws to him all that is foul. An orc horde beyond imagining. It didn't seem that big. As Sigma fought, so shall we. We will become part of the legend. We will wipe the orcs from our door. And only when this is done, when our nation has healed, shall I take up Galmaraz for Sigma, for the Empire, for the Warhammer. Yes, for the Warhammer. I agree with these sentiments. My army is going to absolutely flog anything that the Greenskins throw at me right here, and it's going to be kind of funny. I'll just do an idiotic little noob box back here just because I can. Got our rocket batteries. Franz has got Deathclaw up here, so that's going to bode well for me. Got my old light wizard, or bright wizard, sorry. We got uh, Sextus up here on his flying mount. So I'm going to roll the flanks with the uh, Reichsguard. Actually, no. I'm going to roll Reichsguard right down the center here. And I've got Demigriff Knights. Breathe. And let's get our demis with halberds on the flanks because they're anti-large. Okay, now we should be set. Let the campening begin. My subjects call. Yes, okay. I'm going to put all my infantry into a guard mode as well. Let's get this started. Sextus, you have a mission, son. Gonna go take out that um, Doom Diver catapult. There we go. Let the rockets fly, baby. Never mind. Looks like the rockets are gonna do it for me and do it pretty darn quick. I'll just let the rockets do their work. A couple more hits on that Doom Diver and it's gonna route.
as their infantry approaches. I'm gonna absolutely ra oh my rockets retargeted a bunch of their infantry. Let's go ahead and target the uh, Doom Divers. I'm gonna attack some of these Goblin Wolf Riders. So my Reichs Guard's gonna get a little bit held up here. Comes charging straight in. Franz and Sextus go after the war boss. Gonna roll the great swords forward. Bright wizard. Gonna flaming head their guys back here just because I can. Why you ended up over there, Carl Franz? But Sextus, uh, actually, I'll let Sextus have the pleasure of killing this guy. Take Franz over here. Whoa, Flaming Head was coming right back into my own men. All right, so the Greenskins are reforming at the top of the hill. Sextus looks like he absolutely clobbered the uh, Orc War Boss with ease. Let's go ahead and chase him down. Get our cavalry regrouped here. Franz was successful there. Get all this cavalry. Like I said completely regrouped. Man, our rockets are uh, are uh, totally wrecking these guys. I'm seeing a Ragnarok spider coming down the uh, pass. Let's get our uh, demi grips with halberds after it. Wow, our rockets are gonna like almost single-handedly finish this off. Sextus, you want a spider under your belt here? I think the answer is yes. Alright, I'm gonna use my Demigriff Knights and Sextus to come in here. Let's give him some extra armor piercing. There we go. That spider's gonna get Rizak. Oh yeah, it did. Look at that. <laughs> More green skins? How in the world could there be any more green skins? We've killed several, several uh, hundred of them at this point. All right, spider's gone. Problem solved. My cavalry's over here wrecking this big blob of green skins. Let's get all the rest of my cavalry together. The rockets just fire away like crazy. Oh, there's a giant too. Some trolls and other stuff. We'll let the dwarfs take a lot of the downhill charges. Chase some of these chariots and other units off the battlefield. Then we'll swing around. Wow, look at the rockets, man. Just brutal. Okay, Demi Griff Knights taking these guys out. Let's get Franz. Let's go attack the uh, giant. Let's roll back in on these trolls. Get the Demi Griff Knights up here, too. I'm guessing that uh, Sextus and uh, Franz are going to be more than capable versus the uh, Giant. They're going to have some pretty big hitting power here, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, they're they're hammering him. His leadership's dropping pretty fast. Sextus doesn't have a healing potion, so I'll have to watch it a little bit, but I won't get you killed, Sextus, I promise. Look, here comes the cavalry. I think I already got you killed once. So that promise may not be any good. There we go. That was a pretty cool battle. The Greenskins get a lot of reinforcements and big monsters. I like that one. Shady Beard Burner. <laughs> I love his name. It's pretty sweet. The spiders just pull through me? Pretty sure they did. Is there some reason why the Greenskins are... There we go. It's like sooner or later we should get a victory here. There we go. Decisive victory. That was plenty of cavalry wreckage, rocket wreckage. Sextus got himself an orc war boss, spider, a bunch of other stuff in the bag there. So Franz picks up Galmraz, so he gets plus eight melee attack, extra battle loot, 
extra public order in all provinces, and then he gets the ability, Galmaraz. Oh yeah, all the extra weapon damage and armor piercing, that's going to be spectacular. And let's go take out uh, Puccini here. Might as well, so I can go ahead and start uh, retraining. So Franz has been busy this turn. Right. And we'll go take this other settlement over here as well. Um, so that should be soon. Did we ever get... I am the Supreme Patriarch. No, still don't even have access to anything, so we got to wait one more turn before victorious. we get that. I think it's next turn when I can sack Karakern and hopefully convince these guys, the but provinces. they're going to... Um, it is war. I can't do anything. Else. They're going to come back here and go after me. They're going to come back here and hit Fyldorf that they've hit before, so I'm not going to spend a dang penny on that. So I'm just going to wait and take out their... Their settlement, that'll be the biggest deterrent to them. By the comet. We're gonna need Got those guys training. These to guys the have to finish training after this turn. You got this army ready to rock and roll. Oh, Dorf or Akendorf. Okay, let's um go ahead and end the turn. Sextus, you picked up some skills there for killing a war boss. Not unexpected. Let's finish off your wound maker. Carl hey, Franz picks here. up. Some uh, skills here, no big surprise. We've, let's finish Honest Steel and Rally, and then we'll get these uh, Emperor's Finest and some of the other ones in here that we need for Carl still. My lord. Uh, this Lord up here gained another skill. He's already got his War Horse. Let's uh, give him Route Marcher. And we're going to ignore the damage there. All right, so we got a little bit of money. Making a little more money now, too. It's good, I could use another couple small armies. I knew these idiots were gonna do that, so enjoy that while it lasts, you dwarf scum. I don't even know why you betrayed me in the first place, you knuckleheads. Is Carrick? Oh, they're gonna siege Marienburg, so we're gonna have to go do something about that. Marienburg does have walls, so I'm gonna wait. I'm not going to attack them or get too hasty, but I'm going to try and destroy the settlement with um, with Gelt and then double back to Marienburg. So, units with successful rifle barrels. Excellent. Got the technology researched. We don't have a whole lot of technology left. I need to rebuild uh, the menagerie or whatever it is, apparently. I'm just going to research something here. I don't even think the research makes so? that much difference at this point. Okay, we got this small army ready to reinforce here. That'll give us the auto-resolve. So we can get these punks off of us. What? Okay, let's just kind of hold the ground right here. Your demise is certain. Alright. So that works. Plenty of bargain scaling back over healer. Um, let's take Gelt. No peace, just war. I'm gonna lay waste to Paravan here now that we can. It's gonna do a lot of damage to me, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. And uh, oh gosh, I've got to sack it. But I need to. Um, I need to raise it, honestly. I want to sack it just to get the uh, the loot, but I don't need the money near as bad as I just need it gone right now, so that it's not a benefit to um, it's not a benefit to Bretonia. So. I'm gonna start rolling back through here with Gelt and lift the siege. Let's see. Got done doing some recruiting, so let's do some recruiting into this army again. Just need to be. Just need to get stuff to quickly. The Empire. Yeah, I've already got two crossbows. Got those guys. Let's get a couple of flagellants to do. Actually, against Bretonia, those will be horrible units. Let's get spearmen with shields. Okay. That'll work. That will work. Let's destroy the... Uh... Really? I have to have... I just destroyed the dang place, and they're going to make me wait raise a turn. That, that's weapons. so annoying that you can't raise it on the same turn. I mean, that really is annoying. It's, it's as pointless as it is stupid. Absolutely stupid. So, 
Okay, so we can resettle these places over here too. Let's rebuild the harbor, build this place up. Protector of the weak. Pretty good shape here. Let's go keep resettling some of these lands. Let's get the uh Let's uh, do the weaving house. I'm gonna Men, move over here and siege attack. this joint. At least we're causing some damage here at this point. Nothing wrong with that. We're getting some damage done. I got a few armies training up that ought to make defense of my lands a little bit easier. Appiest, you leveled up, man. So let's see what we can get you here. Huh. Basically nothing else except for the Pegasus, which should be coming soon. I'm going to get him Prime Mover. The Got a Lord up here. Let's give him a War Horse. It's always a good first skill. And accept. Master Engineer, huh? Let's go see what that one was. Actually, I should be able to do it right now. Playing as the Empire, research 20 technologies. Excellent. So, yet another achievement. Pathetic Norsk and pukes. Assault the garrison. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Those guys are going to have enough troops to help out soon. It is time. I'm going to try and recruit some more units into that army, too, when the time comes. For now, we're fine, though. Let's not get too worried about it. It's not giving me very good chances here. Yeah, they do have a lot of Grail Knights, like a or Knights of the Realm, like a ton of Knights of the Realm. Let's see how long I can hold out there. I have eight turns before they run out of supplies, so I'm quite safe as long as I stay within my defenses. Let's go relieve Marienburg. And then we'll double back. Not in my name. On march. So I'm going to bring Gelt over here as quick as I can to break this Bretonian siege. Forward, Praise and then we'll have some extra spears and stuff for defense over there soon. Franz is ready to lay siege to... Raise your weapons. Miragliano or whatever it is. It's giving me terrible chances. Probably because they have so many dang hand gunners. For goodness sakes. Let's continue the siege. No peace, Sextus, war. how do you like the taste of hand gunners? It seems like it ought to be a pretty good feed for your Pegasus. Praise be to Sigma. Recolonize As here. Uh, Two arms. Attack. Destroy this place. Raise that dump. Where else does Karak Kern? They have Karak Izor down here. Maybe tearing it to the ground would convince them that they uh, need to surrender. They're going to just come over here and try and destroy all the little settlements that they can. I want to get this wizard into that army. Or wait a minute. Is he deployed? Yeah. Let's get him into this army. Hurts. Um, I can just train a lord here. So recruit a lord. Let's grab this arch lector and then we will resettle whatever the dwarfs break and we'll just keep the pressure on them. They've got this place over here too. So I'm going to destroy the remaining Karak Hearn settlements. If they had any the sense project. whatsoever, they would sue for peace, but I don't expect the dwarfs to, to make sense all the time. Of course, so we can repair that. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, but I'm going to finally go ahead and repair this stuff here. It's almost getting repaired anyway. Thinking about using this army here to go do some raiding in Varg lands, but it's not really the best army. I'd kind of almost just rather keep it for warding them off. So Patchy's got a Pegasus. I'd still like to pick up his Imperial Griffin. He's level 16 and I need a level 17. Let's see what else we can give him. Sigmar's Ward, Blade Shield. He's got pretty solid melee defense. Let's uh, finish up on a steal for his army. 
Warrior Priest. Doesn't have Sigmar's Ward, but we, we could give him this Tenacity. That should be useful. Up, up his weapon strength. Or his uh, hit points. True we got an Arch Lector down here. Let's go ahead and give him Route Marcher. And get things kicked <laughs> off here. And the dwarves are doing some pretty good work. They've mopped up a bunch of people that I really could care less about. Well, some of the dwarves. Not Kara Kern. They're a bunch of crotch wads, and they just assassinated my new lord, and I hate them furiously. Uh, can they win this? I'm not 100% convinced that they can win this. Because they don't have any skirmishers. Uh, let's fight this battle. Might be a good chance for me to stop these goons. And then I'll have to recruit me another lord to go resettle, but hey, if we can get rid of the... Well, I mean, they do have the uh, master engineers who can shoot, but... Ready for war! I'm thinking the halberds ought to be kind of tough for the uh, dwarfs to cut their way through. Swordsman. And then if I the outflank with the swordsmen, we might be able to... Might be able to put some pretty good damage on these guys. Longbeards. As long as I tear up the longbeards, should be in good shape. Let's not defire at will. I don't know what the range is on that master engineer. 150. Not much better than my crossbow. Let's move up. It's not any better than my crossbow, actually, I don't think. They may stand back and fire. Let's destroy these longbeards. They are shielded, I believe. Let's do some damage anyway. They're shielded, but they're going to eat some. They shouldn't perform very well versus my halberds. Anyway, because they don't... I mean, my halberds have armor piercing. Yeah, we're doing some good damage to them. There we go. Let's let one more volley rip on the longbeards. Perfect. I'm going to start targeting the Master Engineers. Swing in over here with the swords. The halberds aren't going to be much affected by a dwarf charge. There we go. Just got to start fighting these dwarf warriors. Uh, long beards should take a lot of damage from my halberds, but they're not for whatever reason. Attacking their master engineer. The swordsmen are getting romped by the uh, dwarf lord over there. Slowly cutting down the master engineers. These guys are pretty resilient. 120 armor, well that makes sense. They're not shielded. Halberds are holding out quite nicely. We've done some pretty significant damage to that Master Engineer as well. Come on, finish off these Dwarf Warriors. These guys have ridiculous leadership. Come on. I've used up almost all my ammo already. Jeez. These guys work through their ammo pretty quickly. Well, at least we did a lot of damage to the Master Engineer. Are these guys going to route? Look at that. Still 54 leadership, and they're completely getting horse whipped. Even the miners are holding out strong. Longbeards are doing way more damage than they deserve, in my opinion. But should be able to wipe out one of the Master Engineers here in a second. Took all my ammo to do it, but... Come on, kill that Master Engineer. Kind of like four volleys. Okay, one master engineer is about to eat it. Let's go ahead and finish him off. There, he's dead. Alright, so that's one dwarf off the battlefield. Yeah, one dwarf. There we go. 
It's about all we've killed. My halberds are actually performing terribly versus the longbeards, which is frustrating. They should be doing fairly well. The dwarfs may have upgraded them. They're trading okay. I mean, it's not bad. Okay, my crossbows are now completely out of ammunition. Let's go attack this master engineer. My swords over here are not trading well at all with the uh, dwarf lord. crossbowmen over. Okay, my sword general routed, but the miners are gone. Okay, I'm gonna try and dogpile the, uh... My general's not dead, though, so I'm gonna try and keep him alive. Get into the back of these long beards. Try and dogpile a bunch of men over here. Swordsmen are gonna be Pretty bad versus these guys got in the back of the long beards. Little good that'll do me. Let's use the swordsman, see if we can help finish this fight a little bit faster. My halberds are possibly going to get defeated here. Completely surround those dwarfs. We've thrown in the numbers. But my swords are already routing. At least the halberds got in here. They'll do a little bit better versus the armor here, but these two uh, lords are going to do pretty darn well versus anything I got left. Really need to get these long beards off the field. But these guys are not going anywhere fast. The halberds are getting some damage done. These units are kind of slowly dwindling. Please kill the long beards. 58 kills on the long beards. Got 31 there. 59, 60. These long beards, man. Look at that, down to 16 men, barely any health left, very tired, damage sustained, losing. And they've still got better leadership than my guy. That's nuts, man, the dwarf's got some pretty serious leadership. Okay, these halberds routed, they're gonna come back. Uh, let's keep that dwarf lord busy with these two units over here, and let's keep these halberds alive. Oh crap, that engineer's sizing me up over there too, that's not good. Let's just go throw our crossbowmen out here to push this guy back. Okay, we got rid of the long beards. Okay, let's... Let's maybe, uh... Let's go dogpile the master engineer and just leave those swords to keep the dwarf lord busy for a minute. And maybe we can use these crossbows to bait him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use the crossbows to bait him away from this. Master Engineer is going to be able to outrun me, though, I think. Well, let's keep chasing him off with these guys, then. And let's turn around and get the uh, Dwarf Lord with all this. The Longbeards came back. Holy moly. That really does seem quite impossible. Oh, keep my general alive. Stay away from there. Let the cross or let the uh, Halberds do this. See if we can use these crossbows to tank up some of the uh, damage for my halberds. The halberds are really struggling to get this done. What the heck? What's he using here? Rally? Like I need that. Really? These guys are going to get to me? Gosh dang it. Their stupid rear charge is going to route everything. I can't believe these longbeards are back. That's utterly ridiculous. Fighting down to four dwarfs. Got both my halberds back in there. Longbeards now. I think the longbeards just got completely killed before they routed off the battlefield. I don't think I can stop this dwarf lord. I think he's going to be my problem. 133 kills. Come on, everybody. Get back in the fight. Come on. Get back in the dang fight, you crybabies. That dwarf lord, though. He's gonna beat me. He's totally gonna beat me. 138 kills. Come on. 
finish him. He's down to 434, but I don't have any halberds in here to help dish the damage, and my general could die at any moment. Uh, like, probably at that moment. <laughs> Not quite, but, but close. And that unit routing is going to make all my other ones run out. Crap, dang it. Come on, get back in here. It's down to 321. We are just going to come just short of killing him, I think. Gosh, that's frustrating. 160 kills. Can you all tell we were outmatched? Because I'm pretty sure we were. I can't have my halberds take the charge. Dang it, they routed again just from being near him. Those guys are going to route. Dang, crossbowman shattered, so... Okay, you got some halberds back. I don't know how this general's still alive. That's really quite incredible. These guys are going to route before they ever get into combat, probably. Will any bracing help me? Hex, no, it won't. We didn't even get one jab on him. All right, well, this Dwarf Lord is going to kill me. Look at that, his, uh, frightened by an enemy unit. Great, the Dwarf Lord was causing causing fear the whole time. Man, that's annoying. Oh, well, Kara Kern will get away with that one just barely. And it's mainly because I spent all my ammunition on their master engineer. I should have spent it on the dang Dwarf Lord because he got 140 or 66 kills. The uh, engineers were not near as much of a threat. So, bad choice there. But I do think that we got rid of most of their infantry units, so that's probably the last settlement they'll be raising over there. We'll see. Assassinate hero success. Oh, that was my new lord there, whatever. Um, we're going to do nothing. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I'll see you back soon.